what it do you do <clears throat> today's video i'm going to chime in with a quick impromptu video today's video i'm going to talk about a few different topics but i really want to touch on how a lot of these places like for example the mormon church which was founded by a guy named joseph smith probably about 160 165 years ago that is a front for witches and warlocks that's into satanism to go have a place to hide to make it seem like they everyday people but really they still practice satanism just like egyptology just like jehovah witnesses and listen i'm not saying every single person that practice these religions or whatever are demonic but i say a good 90%, 95% of them are. Some people just deceived and don't know what the fuck they're getting into. they like the lower level versions of these people, so they don't know what the fuck they're getting themselves into. You know what I mean? They just follow us something. They want to be a part of something. But then when you start going higher in the ranks, those people, the grandmasters and shit like that, they know what the fuck going on. They're not going to tell you, of course, because they need you to do the bidding of their master's will. So when you see a lot of these people that's just be standing outside of shit, or they go door to door and shit, a lot of them are just trying to recruit more people to be in their little coat and shit like that. Real shit. Shit deep. And the way I know this is because um, you can go check out this scholar on YouTube. His name is uh, Bill Shiblin. And he actually goes in depth and talks about this type of stuff. And this ain't like just any person. He actually got a PhD in uh, this type of, in this field. And I think he got a few other uh, degrees. And I know just because, <clears throat> excuse me, I know just because you got a degree and shit don't mean nothing. But, you know, when it comes to certain areas, like medical field, means something. And when it comes to like, um, I'm not sure what he got his PhD in, but it's something like, it's deep like it's uh, it's up there so like it, it clearly means something or whatever but but yeah not all the time but this guy knows he's talking about and you know um i listened to him did my own research and that's how i found out so <clears throat> the mormon church is really just a cover-up for uh witches and warlocks to go to so they can have somewhere to hide and just like i think Jehovah witnesses and all that shit nothing but a front for witches and warlocks but like i said not everybody that's in them is necessarily a part of that but then again they are they just might just be too dumb to know what they follow and they just want to follow something you see what i'm saying you know but technically it's not their fault they don't really know you know but then if you want to jump to the next topic um with this whole monkey pox shit <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> So with this whole Bucky Pock shit, I just see an article that the CDC posted talk about some um, the Monkey Pox is now like a national fucking thing. Like it's like a national biological threat, I guess that's you what you can call it. Then they keep putting these stereotypes and these narratives that is coming from you know, so-called black people or it's coming from Africans, you know, and every so-called black person is not the same group of people. We just have melanin in our skin. Not saying that we try to be divided or nothing like that. I'm just saying a lot of people, they are the same motherfuckers when they're really different. We just got melanin, you know? And I don't know how true that is, you know, with the uh, whole monkey pox being created in Africa. It probably could be because, you know, COVID was created in Wuhan, which is 100% fact, has a patent on it. Monkeypox is not a game that has a patent on it. It's a real thing. So it probably did come from Africa because I heard about this shit before it even came back or whatever. Or before it even got bad over here, I guess that's what I want to say. I've been heard people talk about monkeypox this, Ebola that, started in Africa, came from monkeys, all type of crazy shit, you know. 
which I can say you can kind of say is believable because the COVID came from Wuhan. That's in China. You see what I'm saying? So, and China is right over there by Australia, in Africa, and a lot of those other countries over there in the Pacific region. They all are over there in that area. So it's not like it's too far fetched that you got a lot of these fucking celebrities like Bill Gates and Oprah and all these other evil motherfuckers going to Africa and cutting off the limbs. And I'm not saying they doing it themselves, but you know, they hiring a motherfucker to cut off the limbs of the people in Libya and sell them back into the organ trade and sell them back into slavery. There's some crazy shit going on right now. But the thing I want you to realize is that all these diseases and shit, if you pay attention, note that they talk about them before they actually hit drastically. Like, I've been heard about monkeypox, like, I don't know, a couple months ago, maybe some years ago. Because this was the same shit that people was talking about, but they kept talking about the whole Ebola shit. There was a whole Ebola scare you know what I mean? Like, so they've been talking about this stuff and they, they mentioned it and they hit motherfuckers with it. But what people don't understand, those are just the test runs. That's just a test run that they doing. And then once they figure out to put new strand, how they, once they figure out how to put new strands in a disease or what it could really do after they test it on certain neighborhoods and certain people they kind of like splice the genes of that bacteria and it'd be like okay this motherfucker gonna be strong enough to hurt people between this age range it's gonna be able to hurt people they got this type of bodily function or this type of bodily disorder it's gonna be able to hit people such and such blah 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 that's how they, they splice that shit up you know what I mean And when they figured that they created the perfect batch, that's when they released that shit. And that shit just spread like wildfire and it just do the job itself. You know what I mean? Like it's just, just like when the COVID shit first happened. I'm telling you, like, what was that? 2018, 2019. COVID was created 2019. That's where you get the 19 part from. COVID-19 was created 2019 in Wuhan. But before even all that info started to get out, though, it's like, I already knew something major was going to happen because the 13th son was talking about this. Shout out to TLC, 13 Love Community. You know, he was talking about this. He didn't say COVID, though. He said it's going to be some biological warfare. You need to be trying to get out of America or try to get your own land where you can isolate yourself and create your own communities and link up with other communities where you're building bridges with people. You see what I'm saying? This is what he was talking about. And nobody knew, I'm not gonna say nobody knew, but I didn't know you no know, fucking COVID and shit was gonna hit. You know what I mean? But I already knew something was coming. And then 2019 came, I still felt it. I knew something was coming. Then boom. Then I ended up going to Australia, which still didn't, <laughs> which still didn't really do anything. You know what I mean? Cause the COVID shit spread there too. Cause it was a lot, it's a lot of people, which people don't know. It's a lot of people from Australia in America. And there's a lot of people from America in Australia. Well, now I know because I met a lot of Americans over there. It wasn't like that many, but I met a lot of Americans over there overseas. You know what I mean? So the shit spread. And I'm not saying the shit came from America and all that shit because you got Australia is a young country. So you got a lot of people from different countries that moved there. You know what I mean? Or born there. You know what I mean? So you got all different type of cultures and nationalities that's there. But of course, you do have Australians, of course. So I'm not saying that people from America spread it over there. I'm just saying it's so much traveling and shit going on. Even if I did go there, the shit, it still hit. I remember when this shit hit, 20, 2020, it was like, what, February? Yeah, it was like, yeah, like February, low-key March. Oh, COVID this, COVID that is spreading everywhere. Then about like, what, March, April or something like that, that shit, boom, that shit hit. Shit spread it everywhere. It was fucking insane, like, people panic buying all that shit so that has basically been 
like they use that momentum from that surge up until now to keep going. You know what I mean? So they like, okay, we hit them with the COVID. Now we finna hit them with this monkeypox. Now we finna hit them with the Omicron. Now we finna hit them with the Delta. And it's just funny how they use these names because you got you got the Delta Airlines, then you got the Delta Delta variant of COVID. Delta is a airline service which takes people from different places all over the world. And then you got a variant of COVID called Delta, which spreads fast, like an airplane service that's going all over the world. 